Hey guys, Big Guy 3, Tanner's is back again. You're gonna see me a lot tonight. I plan on making three videos today. I know it's really late, but it's Friday night and I got nothing else to do. So I'm gonna finish my ROH DVD, which shouldn't take me much longer. Aside from the Punk Joe match, there's not a lot of time on the DVD. And I'll do a random DVD review. I, I, I don't like doing it like every single DVD. I'll do the three DVDs that I saw over... Technically four. Yeah, four. Five DVDs I saw. I saw four DVDs over my winter break. I saw... I mean, I'm on winter break. Over spring break. I saw... in. I, I don't have the other one with me. It's in the other room. I saw SummerSlam 1997. Uh, 98. 99. This. And I'm currently watching this. So, I, I, when I'm done with this, down to the random DVD reviews of everything. Matt Beast, 14, 19, um, asked me to make a video on my top 5 DVDs. And I said that's going to be really hard for me to do, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, this one will be about top 5 WWE, the other one will be about top 5 TNA. And as soon as I've seen enough, I'll do top 5 ROH, because in my possession right now, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 11, so I can do a top 5, um, note, in this top 5, it's not, like, really complete, cause there's, like, two DVDs that I think could be in this top 5, but I Netflix them, and I don't own them, uh, hold on, let me just get one of the DVDs up here, um, uh, look, the one DVD I'm talking about is The Rise and Fall of ECW, which I Netflix, which is probably my, one of my favorite DVDs of all time, but I don't have it with me, so I'm not really going to include it in my top five. Just notice it, it is worthy to be there. Um, here are my top five. <sighs> Most of these um, have come out recently, some in like the past year and a half, because I told you, WWE has just be, been amazing in DVDs recently. There are two that are like a little old that I personally love. And um, these are just my basic top five. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. And you have heard of these DVDs with reviews and stuff. The first is my the number five, the Bret Hitman Heart DVD. This DVD's got, you know, all the features, three disc. In this booklet. I don't know if you can see from there in the match selection, it says Bret Hart vs. British Bulldog at SummerSlam, Bret vs. Bam Bigelow, Bret Hart vs. Perfect King of the Ring vs. Owen Hart at WrestleMania, because they have another match at Breakdown, vs. Steamboat, and then here's That's Crap, vs. Ted DiBiase, Hart Foundation vs. The Rockers vs. The Nasty Boys, Bret Hart vs. Mr. Perfect, and then here in the extras down there, you have Bret Owen in a, in a regular match. Bret Hart vs. Hakushi, Bret Hart vs. Diesel, Survivor Series, Bret Hart vs. Bulldog, one of the most underrated matches of 1995 in December. Um, his one night only match against The Undertaker, his WCW match against Chris Benoit, and of course his match against Stone Cold. Plus extras, the, the documentary is very good, it deserved to win DVD of the Year in my opinion. 2006, yeah I think so. No, it was either 2006 or 2005. Um, so here you go, here's the Bret Hart DVD that um, I keep in this box. This box came with a cap, a cap that I wore that said Bret Hart, and then a cap that I lost. And now there's just big extra space, so in here I have another DVD, which is a Bloodbath DVD, which I will not include in my top five, even though it is very good. Okay, then at number four, we have a DVD that I just got and just reviewed recently, the Eddie Guerrero DVD. Viva La Raza, Matt Beast. I know you have this DVD. It is a very good, very good DVD. Um, I'll, I'm not going to say all the matches because I made a video on this. I made a video dedicated to this. And I even made a DVD battle with this. If you really want to see that, it's somewhere. One of my earlier ones. I'm just going to show you the match that stuck out. The match that stuck out the most to me. Obviously, um, his matches with Dean Malenko were very good. With Ric Flair, with Shinhiro Otani. With Eddie, with a uh, RVD, it's no DQ match with Edge. It's probably my top five matches of all time. I love this parking lot brawl, his match against Brock, his match against JBL, Rey Mysterio again, Kurt Angle, 
And Miss Batista match was alright. The Mr. Kennedy match that was very funny. Very good documentary. His uh, another great DVD of his, which is not in my top five, unfortunately, is the Cheating Le Death, Stealing Life Eddie Guerrero DVD. A DVD that I love very much, which made me cry. I mean, I cried because I saw it after he died. And it was such an emotional story. And then at the end, it tries to say a positive message, like, he will continue to live forever. And, oh, God, I, I, was, I was in tears, in tears when I saw that DVD. Because I saw it after he died. It shows how he fought through drugs and ended up winning the WWE title. I mean, come on. I, I really couldn't take it knowing that he had died and he did all this. Uh, it, it really hurt. It's a very good DVD. It's not in my top five, unfortunately. But uh, it, it, that's probably my favorite documentary of all time. He had a book that I really wanted to read, but that'll just make me cry even more because the book is is like 300 pages. It'll take me about a month to read because I have to. I can't read it like every second. And I don't know if I can get the book. It'd be too sad. Literally, it'd be too sad. You know, let's just try to make happier notes. Eddie Girl was my favorite. Was probably my favorite wrestler. With The Undertaker. <sighs> a story that does give you a happy ending though. Shawn Michaels story. The Heartbreak and Triumph. Matt Beast. I know you have this one too. This is also a very good DVD. A very good documentary. Um, the most underrated match. I've made a DVD on this too. The most underrated match ever. That Shawn Michaels ever had. Against Jeff Jarrett. The In Your House. Which no one remembers. That was a very good match. His rematch with Kurt Angle at Vengeance. Which I think is just as good as the Romania match. His match with the Bulldog at the King of the Ring was good. His matches with uh, the Hart Foundation were very good. I mean, what am I saying? That match was sick. All right. I'm saying, like, his matches with Marty Jannetty was good. Um, the Royal Rumble, it shows the entire 1995 Royal Rumble. Possibly the best documentary right behind the Eddie Guerrero DVD. Some great extras, some great extras. Really an all-around great DVD that you have to get. It's number three. Number two, this is an old DVD that I don't, I don't think a lot of you have. It's not old. It was made like 2005, 2004. It's uh, the ECW Bloodsport DVD. I know. Before you hear the criticism, that's not WWE DVD. According to this, it is a WWE DVD. Um, God, just some really bloody, gory matches. Um, here, I'm going to try showing my favorites. Eat the Rocks and Brothers fighting at each other in a Taipei death match. They wrap your hands in tape. And then they wrap them in glue. And then they stick it in two barrels of glass. And then like you see them starting out with boxing matches. And then you see them. Literally, they gave him a blade job with the glass. They take the shard of glass. Take his head and go. Tss. Oh my god. Oh, I was going crazy. Rey Mysterio vs. Psychosis in the Mexican death match. Not as good as their 2 out of 3 falls match in the ECW DVD, but still very good. Four corners match for the title. Jericho, Douglas, Scorpio, and Pitbull number 2. Very good match. Robin Nam vs. Sabu had a pretty good match. The three-way dance at, the, at Barely Legal, one of my favorites. Sabu vs. Terry Bunk. The barbed wire ring ropes match. Oh, God. The most gory match I've seen. Um, Bill McKillicuddy and Bill Alfonso. The best five-minute match I've ever seen in my life. Uh, no, the best three-minute match I've ever seen in my life. Bloody, so at least Taz versus Van Bigelow, always good. Dudley Boys versus Spike and Balls, they always did very well together. Um, Mike Awesome versus Masato Tanaka, recently. And a bunch of extras, just a lot of, lot of really good matches in here. Second favorite wrestling DVD of all time, WWE wise It's a very good DVD, I highly recommend getting it. It's Bloodsport, ECW's most violent matches. Very hard to find, but I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon. And obviously, my favorite WWE of all time, and I hate to use this word, but by far, it is my favorite WWE of all time. Probably everyone's favorite WWE of all time. I, I don't know if you have it, Matt Beast. You should. You sh I don't remember when you did it. If you don't have this DVD, you're not a true wrestling fan. This is the best wrestling DVD I've ever seen in my life. The ladder match. This DVD has 30 fucking matches. Let me count in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Alright, 23. 23 fucking matches in full. In full. A ladder match DVD. Oh my god. It's the Spot Fest Mania. Triple H versus The Rock at SummerSlam. 
Heart Edge and Christian versus the new brood. Hardy stole these at Edge and Christian. They even have they even have three count versus Junk Dragons versus Jamie Noble and Evan Karajias in the la in the three way ladder match in WCW. One of the greatest ladder matches I've ever seen. Um, let's see. Hardy Stully, Edge and Christian. Hardy Edge and Edge and Christian. Benoit and Jericho. Uh, my favorite ladder match of all time. Kane and the Hurricane. Arvin. Oh, Kane versus RVD and Jeff versus the Dullies versus Jericho and Christian. Jericho and Christian. Undertaker, Jeff Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Rob Van Dam. So much DVDs. So little time. By far the greatest. Oh, the four and Unforgiven. By far the greatest WWE DVD and wrestling DVD that I've ever got in my life. The ladder match. I'll do my TNA DVDs up next. Because my name is Big Red. Three. Ten. Out. Peace.